Good morning, everyone. Let's play the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Sunday, April 28th, 2024. Okay, now there are two threes in rows two and three, which forces the three in box two to be in row one. In turn, forcing a three in column four to be in one of two places in box eight. Uh, other repeat digits, I'm going to get a six at the top corners of row one, top left that is, a 91482 otherwise I've done, oh, uh, the fives they give me all of them, but the threes, there are three threes looking into box six where a three must go and I know exactly where it can, where it must end up. In the bottom three rows, oh, nine in rows seven and nine force it in one of two places in row eight, but it can't go there because of the nine in column two. So a nine must be placed there, which, based on column scanning, will place it there. Now, if I look vertically, these two threes force it in one of those positions. I don't quite have an offset threes in boxes seven, eight, or nine. That's going to be interesting. Excuse me, I'm still fighting a cold a little bit. Uh, three, nine, nine, three, nine, three. Okay, four, six, eight, five, one. Otherwise, I'm done. Oh. Uh, in the middle three columns, those two sixes force it in those two, and those are the same two spots as the three. That gives me a hidden three six pick. What? Yeah, the sixes must go here, and the threes must go here. That gives me a hidden three six pair. This six tells me the order. And now, these two sixes force it in one of those two. This three tells me that that's a three, and this is not. And now that must be a three, and this isn't. Four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, I have all my threes. Well, that's clever. But anyway, If three and six are removed from the middle columns, I've got one, nine, five, four, two, six. So I'm done. <coughs> Excuse me, in the rightmost columns, three, two, seven, five, nine, three, six, three, one, eight. So threes are done. Two, seven, five, nine, six, one, eight, otherwise. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's see. So, okay, um, one, three, five, eight, nine in column three. I need two, four, six, and seven. That can't be six or seven. That, that one can't be six. Neither can that. And this can't be four. Well, wait a minute. This can't be six, and those can't be six. I just placed the six in column three, didn't I? So six is in one of those two by column scanning. Excuse me. <coughs> and those are my last two sixes in the grid, I think. Just about. Because once I get one, I think I get the other. Now, row one has one, three, four, six, nine. I need two, five, seven, and eight. This one can't be eight. That one can't be two or seven. Two, five, seven, because that can't be eight. Okay, that puts an eight, one of those two in row one which puts an 8 in one of these three in row 2. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 6. I need 5, 7, 8, 9. Our 9 must be in one of those two. This is only 5 or 7. It can't be 8 or 9. That's 7, 8, 9. This one, unfortunately, can be any of those digits. Okay, I have a crossing on 1 in box 9. If you look, 1 row 8 moves over. 1 in column 9 moves those two digits out. So, those three digits are ruled out by 1. Therefore, 1 must be one of these two because they fall in the same two spots as 6. I have a hidden 1, 6 pair, and that gives me 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 in box 9. I need 2, 4, and 5 to fill out the rest. So, those three cells form a triple. This one cannot be two. Those two, I think, can be any of the digits in question. I've got possibly two-thirds of a two, four, five set in row seven, something to keep in mind, and row eight also. But, Row 9 now looks interesting, because I have 1, 6, 3, 1, 3, 6, 8, 9. I need 2, 4, 5, and 7 for the rest. That one can't be 4. This can't be 5. This is 2 or 4 already in there. So that's 5 or 7 only. I've got those two 5, 7s, but they don't interact. Yet. 2, 3, 4, 6 in column 6 says I need 1, 5, 7, 8, 9. To fill out the column. Uh, this is 1, 7, 8, or 9, I believe. Okay, in box 4, 3, 4, 5, 9 says I need 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. So that's 1, 7, or 8. This is 2, 7, or 8. Okay, this is 2, 6, 7, 8. It can't be 1. That one can't be 6. That one can't be 2. Okay, I've got 2 in one of them. Ah. 1 and 7 and 8 and 2 all have 3 spots on it. I did not get much help there. Oh. And I totally missed that 2, 4, 7 and column 3 form a triple. Column 4 has 1, 3, 6, 9 placed. I need 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. These ones can't be 3, 5, or 6. And then do some cleanup. Hmm. So that's not particularly helpful. Those two are the only ones left in box 7. Let's see, none of them can be 1, 3, 6, or 9. That one only removes 4, that one only removes 7. But 8 isn't one of those two, it's forced. And I'm not going to get any other help. Well, nope. Let's see, these three can't be 3, 6, 8, 9. Not four, that's not two, and I get no help. Nope. Let's see. These ones cannot be 
2368. Delete 7, delete 9, 5, 1. That one gets rid of 3, 5, 6, and 9. Let's see, these can't be 1, 2, 3, 5. No, not 9, not 6 or 8, not 9, not 7. Okay, 4, four 6, 7, 8, 9. Now this sees 4, 6, and 9 by row, and 7 by column. That one actually is a hidden 8. So that takes out 8 from a bunch of digits. 8 makes this one 5. It's forced. And now that one's not five. Row one is down to a two seven pair. Let's see, eight's out of those and that one. And oh, by the way, there's a one two seven triple in row six now. Uh, row five, excuse me. The five in column seven places the four. Rolling. Call not box nine down to a two five pair, which makes that one seven. This is four nine, which doesn't help me. Those aren't seven though. That might help. That's not four. So this is a one four nine triple. In row three, the important thing is that's not one or four. That's what this says. Seven in row one. Excuse me. We'll place a two. which places an 8, and now row 1 is complete. This can't be 1 or 4 because of the triple, so that's a 2. Let's see, those aren't 2. That's not 4. Okay, 1's now on those 2. That's forced. Uh, 4 in row 8 says that's not 4. This is not 4. I'm marking the 169 triple in column 7. Yeah, the original 247 in column 3, I still don't have any headway on that one. You know, the breakthrough has to be somewhere else, like box 4, I think. Where does 2 go in box 4? These can't be 2, and those can't be 2, so 2 only has one place in box 4. That highlighted dark green cell. So those not being two doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Those not being two might, because I now have three different five seven cells. And I now have a five seven pair in row nine. Therefore that can't be seven. And this one can't be seven either. Two four finally places the seven in column three. So that gives me five, one, four, seven. I can remove those. Get rid of the eight, nine couplets. Two. Uh, those are the four, eight parent column four, which places the five. Let's see. This one sees four and five in the column. It's an eight, so this isn't. So five, seven pair in column eight. I can call them two. All of which can't be one, so that places that eight, four, eight, therefore not eight, not four, not eight. Those aren't eight, and that.
that's not eight and that's not eight. So I'm just marking a one, six, seven, triple in column one, which might prove useful later. The four in row four will place nine, four, one, nine, six. That has to be seven. This has to be four. The six in column seven comes down, places one, six in row nine. The six in row six places seven, one, six. In column one, that places one, seven, nine. And at this point, we're just finishing off. Five, two, five, seven, eight, two, four, one. And a relatively straightforward, not quite 16 minutes today. Cool. Yeah. The key here, I thought, on this particular puzzle was the hidden 8 in column 7 and the hidden 2 in row 6. Once I found those digits, everything else flowed very nicely from that point.